Idris Elba is so handsome, huh? Yeah, you're gonna make fun of how I look, but yeah. Is there more to that? No. Oh. All right, Patrick, usually we're pitted against each other like two people in the ring. Right. Like... Um, no, like a, a lot of stuff I think has changed over the last couple years. But between you and Idris Elba, who do you think is more handsome? This is literally what I was saying. Get up and stand up and play him with his stupid long hair. Get up and stand with his stupid freaking long hair. Look down at him so I can see him when you look down at him like a little child. Well, we said if it happened again, it would happen again, and it's happening again. Uh, there's a Sonic 2, it's coming out. Uh, it's starring Ben Schwartz as Sonic the Hedgehog, and we're here to do a second take of the fastest interview ever. Ben, first question, how are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. Uh, I just want to say that today I stretched out a little bit out of bed, really stretched out my arms a little bit above my head, you know what I mean? Funny little dance. Um, did my funny little dance and then got right to my computer because I knew today was Patrick. I knew today was absolutely polygon time and I'm excited. So put her there, my man. One tip of my pinky to your one tip of your pinky, please. And let's have a great interview. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're really taking to the uh, body double that we hired for you. Um, it's, it seems like you're at home. It seems like you're at peace in here. I am. I'm, I'm home virtually, and I am at peace within my person. Uh, can you catch us up on Sonic Story so far? Sonic Story, as if you have not seen the first film? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it'd be my absolute pleasure. First of all, I got a big itch on my back. Give me one second. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> ah! How long until this gets not funny? I say 20 more seconds. This is what happened in Sonic 1. You, you meet Sonic, this little blue blur, wonderful, wonderful little blue blur, and what he is, he's obviously a hedgehog, right? With powers, some some people have been calling him a superhero, Patrick. Would you call Sonic a superhero or no? No, I think he's a regular hero. Um, I think superhero okay, you, implies- You're gonna find out you're wrong. I'm gonna stop. There's a button, press them all as hard as you can. Slam it, slam it, slam it. Great. At the end of one, he has found his friends, he's found his family. He has defeated Robotnik. Robotnik is on the Mushroom Planet. And two, we see what happens when it's like time for him to be like, I want to kind of be like this Batman type superhero. That's great. Uh, how do you feel about the reaction to the last one? I loved it. What did you think about the movie? I was so excited. Uh, sorry, I was talking about the last interview we did. Yeah, so was I. What kind of training did you do to get back in shape to play Sonic? The training that I kind of did is I want to get in the mind of a very fast uh, being, so I've been hitting the track a lot. I've been, and this is going to sound insane, so in the movie, I have two villains, uh, um, and if you've, if you've played the video games, you understand that. Knuckles, listen, when Knuckles is introduced into this game, he is not on Sonic's side. So I uh, took pictures of you all around my house. I'm trying to look at something and feel the acidity in my stomach. I'm trying to feel my muscles get tense. I'm trying to sweat. Because when I do my lines towards Idris's character, Knuckles, and towards a Jim Carrey's character, Robotnik, I want to hate it. So I basically picture you as all the villains in this movie. Brian, let's take a drink. I got it from here. Hey, you sing a lot in After Party, your new Apple TV show. Uh, what's, what is your go-to karaoke pick? Oh, there's a song that I, you're, are you a Weird Al fan? I love Weird Al. I love Weird Al as well. Grew up on Weird Al, Dare to be Stupid was fantastic. I think I'm a little bit older than you, so my albums coming in were probably different. You yeah. probably started with Running With Scissors or something, like an absolute rookie. Anyway, um, so what I do is I take popular songs and I put your name in it, like, um, um, what's a very popular song that's out right now? Is Billie Eilish still number one? Oh, she is number one fairly often, but I don't think she's got an got anything any new stuff on the radio right now it's uh right tara glass animals glass animals glass animals sounds like a band that you're in okay so uh when you're at karaoke you like to put people's names into a popular song sorry i like to put your name into a popular song uh okay. and it's usually like you know the um who can make the sunshine the candy man can yeah. i turn that into correct but mine is called the garbage man can and it's about you but not shitting on the idea of the industry of garbage, man. I'm talking about you're an actual piece of floating trash. You're as if the movie farce was that floating feather, but it was like a dirty, a dirty diaper. Hey, Sonic can run fast. Can you think fast? Ah! What the hell, man? That hit my clavicle. That literally just hit my clavicle. How would you like it if I threw it to the left of you and didn't hurt you at all? Segment, supersonic segment. Is this an echidna fact or am I echidna around with you? Echidnas lay eggs, true or false? 
Yes, of course. Come on, don't be silly. Next question. Great work. Uh, echidnas primarily eat berries and fruit. That's true. Nope, they eat termites and ants. Uh, and finally, echidnas have two penises. There's no way, there's no way in the real lore of canon of Sonic there's been anywhere that proves this, so I'm going to say that's false. Uh, it is false. They have four. No, that's not true. There's no way. Don't let this be canon. Will we see Sonic's bare hands in this film? You, oh, what, is, what is your obsession with Sonic's bare hands? You're the one What's who brought it up last time. What's about hands? No, you... Yeah, I'm the one. I would like you to rewind the tape right now and show everybody that I'm absolutely not the one. What color do you think Sonic's arms should be? The real question, Patrick, and I'm going to ask you this. What color are Sonic's hands? I know what color they are. Really? Yeah. Or can you tell us? Yes, I can. You gotta check out our next interview on polygon.com. You are the person that always wanted to see Sonic's hands and it's honestly disgusting. Press the button. Next you button. said that you've seen that. Where did Tails get the money for that airplane? <laughs> you haven't seen the movie. You don't know if he bought the airplane. You think that we have a scene, a transactional scene of a little fox buying an airplane from someone? Are you, are you making a movie where you don't ground things in reality? I remember last time we talked, you're like, I wish I could see all the characters go to the bathroom, because in reality, all these characters go to the bathroom all the time. You don't see that in movies. That's not something that we need to show. Well, I mean, then what, are, are people Press supposed to assume that nobody Ryan, goes to the bathroom? This. Press the button, Ryan, we're done with this. Can, can you buy hey. happiness? No, I think happiness comes from within. I think that, you know, love and things like that can provide happiness. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think there's a threshold to which you can buy happiness, then I think above that, you're just wasting Press it, press it, press it, Ryan, uh, press it, Jesus Christ, what it's going on and on. makes Knuckles a good foil for Sonic? Ooh, this is a great question, and maybe the first one out of the whole uh, segment so far, so I appreciate your time. Um, so I think that he, what, basically what Sonic leads with is heart, comedy, and he wants to make friends. Knuckles, on the other hand, doesn't get a lot of the references and comes through with brute force and strength, so it's almost, you know, uh, very opposite in the way that they attack mm -hmm. the situation. But maybe if they spend enough time together, they could be... What would Knuckles sound like if you had voiced him? I, I've got some, some Knuckles lines for you here to read, if you wouldn't mind reading these for us in Knuckles. Of course. Uh, um, all right, are you going to say anything back, or you just want me to read these lines in Knuckles? Uh, I'll, I'll, I will set you up for these. I gotta protect the Chaos Emeralds! You're doing more of a Roger Craig uh, impersonation. If you could do... My impersonation, that'd be uh, nice if you don't mind. Okay. I gotta protect the Chaos Emeralds. That's amazing. Yeah, now you're doing Jason. So you gotta get to the movie Sonic. Have you seen the movie version of Sonic or no? Yeah, yeah, no, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, Ready. I gotta protect the Chaos Emeralds. That's Jaleel White. You've done every, you've literally done every incarnation of Sonic. Except for my, and by the way, all wonderful Thank voice you. artists. It's, okay. it's like, a, hey, I gotta protect the Chaos Emeralds. That's like, really that. good. Here, let's get into it. I'm, I do the voice. I do the voice, Patrick. That's my. It's my thing. You Put sound it over just thing, like you him. Okay, ready. Uh oh, who's this guy? He looks like trouble. All right, Scott, put it down. You're not. You're not helping it. You're not doing it right, and you're not helping it. Ryan, can you do a perfect Sonic impression real quick? Uh, I'm trying to get the Chaos Emerald. That's actually pretty great, and compared to what Patrick was doing, it's pretty embarrassing. So, Ryan, I'll do the scene with you. I'm trying to find the Chaos Emerald. I'm gonna get you, Sonic! Ah, you're about to find out why they call me Knuckles! What makes Tails a good friend for Sonic? I think Tails is a great friend for Sonic because it's the first time you're seeing someone from his home planet come, right? So you get he comes to this planet. And the other one, he's a sycophant. You've never seen anybody actually idolize Sonic through the Tails idolizes Sonic. So it's a great foil for the second movie. Hey, tell me about uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Oh, it's her name is Colleen, by the way. Colleen, uh, sorry, yeah. Colleen. She's incredible. Imagine being able to uh, do scenes with someone who's played Tails for that long and in such a beautiful way. And I have been doing voiceover since 2004 five or six so i'm always very excited when um you know someone who's done voiceover for television for a while gets to jump into a movie all that stuff is very very exciting for me so it's very very fun uh oh what are you about to do you're reaching for something do you think colleen could catch this ball <coughs> what the hell man get up ryan oh fuck i didn't say choke him i just said get up ryan Sorry, that was like in all those movies, like AI. <laughs> this movie has so. Sorry. Oh, hey, what are you playing right now? Video game wise? Yeah. 
I just beat Metroid Dread, um, uh, which was very fun. Playing a lot of Oculus uh, Walkabout Golf. My friends Amir and Jesse and I play three person because I'm on. I'm doing a movie in New Orleans right now, and it's a really fun way for us to be able to talk and chat. But I've also played games like Celeste and and all sorts of things like that. Don't 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 don't. don't. I actually like. In our previous interview, you referred to a level in Sonic as a board, which is either a regional thing or just <laughs> old guy talk. Uh, it's old guy talk, yeah. Uh, I also call your thing the thing that you're wearing dungarees. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, what do you call these objects? Wait, let's do this for real. That's a controller. That's a Genesis controller. Okay, you don't call that a paddle. You that's a paddle? You call it a paddle? No, 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 no. Just some some people like you call this a paddle. That's a that's a vroom vroom automobile. Yeah. That's a television set. Set? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a, uh, that's, oh, that's a, is that a hedgehog? That's an echidna. Is that an echidna? It is, yeah. The cool looking animals. Segment, how much are you like Sonic? Question one, how do you feel about chili dogs? Yeah. Oh, I love a hot dog. Chili dog is a lot. It gets all over the place and it's, it's, it's a lot, but I'll eat it. Uh, do you own any red shoes? Look! Holy sh- Nikes. There's only five of these. Uh, a guy named the shoe surgeon made them for the first movie, and um, I got to keep a pair. That looks so cool. Okay, uh, how small can you make yourself? Can you turn into a ball? Ready? Go, count down. I'm doing it right now. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my god, look how little he got. That's really good. Have you ever kissed a human woman? You and I both know what it's like to kiss a, a woman. Um, Oh, totally, yeah. Well, first of all, you, we know you fuck her up. You gotta fuck her up. Like, so here, can you, with me, if you don't mind, to me? Sure. Fuck her up. Okay. First you fuck her up, and then you fuck her, yeah. Fuck her up, and then you lean in real close, and try to kiss Patrick. Okay, and then we, we whisper something sweet. We whisper something real sweet. Hey, uh, Patrick, this has been really nice. Thanks for having me today. And then we give uh, a little smack or, oh, man. Last time we talked, you mentioned the pressure of living up to the expectations of Sonic fans. How do you feel like you did? Sure. Oh man. Well, I guess you're you're a real life Sonic fan, Ryan. Do you are you a Sonic fan before the film? Yes. And what did you guys think? This is I'll leave it up to you. I thought you did great. Yeah. I think you're as much Sonic as anybody who has ever been Sonic. That is so nice and kind, Ryan. Yeah, I I agree. You're up there in the pantheon of great Sonics. This is a great interview, guys. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss on his knee. Give him a quick kiss on his knee. Quick smack -a How has the character of Sonic grown and changed between films? Sure, so I think after the first one, he actually does this thing where he he does save uh, Green Hills, right? And and essentially, if he hadn't done that moment, something far worse would have happened. So now he has the feeling of like, I want to do this. I want to take everything on by myself. But what I feel like the second movie really does is he learns that he needs to ask and be able to accept help and be able to find his group of friends um, to find a support system because he can't do everything by himself. I think that's a big part of what this second movie is about. How, how do you think you've grown and changed since the last Sonic film? This is insane. I've grown seven inches uh, since the last Sonic movie. I am, I mean, look how tall I am. Yeah, I'm a tall man now. Um, I'm wearing the same sneakers. I was very, I wear very similar sneakers. Um, I'm gonna sit down now. But right on the arm of the chair, as a cool, I'm a cool dude. You know what, actually, Ryan? Put that chair around and AC Slater it. Do you know that reference? This is great. Yeah, now put your knees on it, put your knees on it, and like a little, like a little excited boy. Yeah, let's do the rest of the interview like this. Let's do it. It'll be impossible to edit it together, Patrick, but let's see what happens. I mean, that was actually the last question, uh, except like, what do the Chaos Emeralds taste like? Well, this is insane. Have you ever had uh, Gushers? Mm-hmm. They taste like those. They taste like Gushers. Well, that's it. That's everything. Uh, tell us about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where we can see it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is coming to movie theaters z -z 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 -z, uh, on April 8th, uh, right here in the United States of America. Are you going to come to one of the screenings? Do you think we'll meet uh, in person again or no? No, I got a thing that day. You don't even know when the premiere is. Uh, I, 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 I'm pretty... You, you said it was on... Uh, I haven't said it yet. All right, go. Yeah, well, I got a thing. I like to end this interview like I like to end an interview by doing the uh, famous dance from Single Ladies. If you like it, then you got to put a ring on it. Hey Ryan, say hello, to, say hello to your fiance who you love. Hi Lilith, I, I love you. Thanks for all the support. We love you, Lilith. He wanted to do this.